changed our identity from sinners to saints. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From being unborn to born again. To being a child.
Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pastor. Enter to the gate with thanksgiving, and unto his court with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. I have read to you Psalm 100. May the Lord have blessed for the readers, hearing, and the doers of his word this morning. Thank you. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the heart that we finish with our faith. Dear Lord, we come this morning thank you for all your many blessings. Thank you for last night's sleep and slumber. Then you come this morning waking us up to see your brand new day. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for every love and candy. Lord, continue to bless us today. God, you keep us. Day, Lord, let's go to this day of fire in your hurt and harm and daddy, Lord, then bless those who are on their way this morning, those who are in the king like you. Lord, continue to bless my wife, strengthen, strengthen her body, Lord, then bless the whole congregation of St. John. Then, Lord, touch the angel of his house over here, Lord, give him strength and courage to keep on, keep on. Let him tell a proud word today, but there might be somebody in the audience that they do not know the Father, they'll see you count your word at home. Like you said, the word in your word said, the way you see the devil, the gift of God is in the time of life. We want you to turn life this morning. We want you to rain down on us this morning, Lord. Let your Holy Spirit come in the air, Lord. Touch everyone, Lord. Touch us with your hands, Lord. Oh, Lord, just touch us right now. We need you, Lord. I need you. I'll oh, just go with it this morning, Lord. Be with us again. Bless every minister. Let them say something to their congregation. There might be somebody in their congregation that they don't know from Lord. Just go with us and keep us on this highway, Lord. We've been pressing for a long time. I've been here for 68 years, but Lord, I've been leading and praying on your holy and design word, Lord. Go to the stand by, Lord. Help us. Guide us and keep us in your keeping. These are the blessings. We ask your son, Jesus' name. And for his sake, amen. amen.
7 through 20. Amen. And when you get it, could you stand on your feet? Amen. Amen. I mean, I'll stop that.
Brother Eubanks, Deacon Evan Johnson, Mother Johnson. We have a lot of our saints who are sick and shut in. And if I can catch them, that's not live on TV, so we send our love out to them, continue to pray for them. We are blessed to still have some of my mothers able to get here. We're just so happy to see you every Sunday. So we just thank God because, as Pastor, this is what we call Advent, but this December, we're ready to celebrate and remember the birth of our Lord and Savior. Okay? So, it's never too early to celebrate Christ. I'm going to tell you that now. The, the Christian way, through the love of God. The circle away and all that. But if you're dealing with Christ, everything you do for him will last. So, I'm going to come before you for your announcement from today to tomorrow. And I will remember that Christmas is in December. And I think I said July last week. So, y'all forgive me. I just rambling. <laughs> Okay, so here go our announcements first. I'll say good morning, everyone, again. We thank God for our Holy Communion Sunday. The message for today will be the King has and is coming. The text will be taken out of Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 through 7. Isaiah 9, 6 through 7. Prepare your Bibles accordingly. Our 10 minutes to victory will be on full schedule this week, Monday through Thursday from 6 p.m. Invite someone to get on board the Glory Tour bus. It's fun, it's, it's engaging. 10 minutes to victory lasts about 10, 20 minutes. It's never long enough to get so excited that you want to keep going. But I thank God for the 10 minutes to victory because it, it, it just keeps you refreshed. At this time of year, people are saddened on, you know, less sunlight, so forth, that we're going through these processes. But get in your word. This is the time to start studying and being amongst God's people to lift up that spirit and get that feeling off of you. Just remember that. Engage together. A word for my youth will also be on Wednesday at 6.30. Um, if you need to know how to get on the app, please reach out to Minister Motley on Zoom. Okay, he will get you the directions how to engage. Get your children engaged. They're about to be on their holiday break. We want to keep them engaged with the word. Okay, keep them covered. Once again, we want to thank each of you for supporting the church with your tithes and offering. Let us continue to be obedient. And let's thank the Lord for the opportunity that we're able to give back what he's already given to us, okay? Now, we also need to finalize our church calendar. I'll check it um, this afternoon before I leave. In the back on the wall on the board back there, there's a calendar for 2024. Please sign up for the annual days that you want to be part of. Whatever the Spirit's leading you to do, go sign your name and say that you want to be part of that event and bring it forth to fruition, okay? Our mothers are ready. They caught me last Sunday. Put our name on that board. I got the mothers on Mother's Day. They got me out here. That's y'all day. So please, let us all. It's enough room for everyone to participate. But we need each other. So please sign up. Let us help out also with the Christmas program. This is first Sunday. Our Christmas program is third Sunday. So please, get your children ready. Um, I'm not sure if the, you're going to be having any meetings or where you're going to have it. Um, I'm going to tell you about that. Okay. I'm going to let, I'm going to stop in between here because I want y'all to understand how close we are to the Christmas program. So y'all can come up and she's going to give y'all the information. I'm going to stand by the side here and I'll continue. But this is important. Get your kids ready. Good morning, saints. Okay. How close we are? Close. Okay. Very close. Okay. So this year, um, we want to make sure we, uh, for the parents, we want to have white t-shirts for the kids by next Sunday. Um, we have um, stickers that we're going to iron on that shirt. So this year, uh, we will be doing uh, a story time with Pastor T. It's when our Christmas will be considered uh, doing. We will have the kids come up, sit around, and be able to read a story. So we just got to get all the kids on board. It won't be much. We do still need to have practice. I'm going to put it for next week <clears throat> for at least an hour for the kids. Again, it's not going to be much they have to learn, but just to be able to go and get on board and get a jump on it. 
go ahead. We need everybody, everybody's hand on deck. You are important to God's program. God works through us. And if we sit down and don't do it, then it won't get done. Amen. God is, God is looking at all of us. And I'm encouraging everybody. Don't sit around and, and uh, look at somebody else. You get involved. Amen. Come on, man. Come on, come on, man. In the spirit, you have to do this up to me. Let's get up. And if God gives us strength, let's do this thing in the name of Jesus. Can I get amen on that? Let's get some light in there. Sister, bring it out. Amen. Come on, get some prayer in there. in the house. We welcome you and thank you so much for being here this morning. Amen. Also, our senators, we need this budget. What we're doing here, we have to have everything done by the first of the year. Absolutely. So if you don't submit your budget, we'll put a budget in for you. Amen. Amen. And then, if we don't get, I need you to sign up after service today. I need that calendar full. Need to finish at the end of service. I need everybody to go back there, look at it, put your name down. We ain't going to be arguing over who the chairman, who the chairperson. We ain't going to have no fussing fights. We ain't, I ain't, we ain't going to have it. We have a whole experience up in here. Amen. Every time, every time God gets busy, the devil gets busy. We not going to have it. We are loving. We are God's children. We love each other. Amen. Come on, y'all. Give God the praise. We went over to the last room Thursday at Doug's Elementary because of your donations. We were able to take almost $300 worth of uniforms over there to the students. Amen. And we asked everybody who can by the third Sunday if you can donate one uniform, we want to bless your children in the name of Jesus. Amen. And then the watch service is at 6 o'clock. So you can, we can get in and get out before the devil gets busy. It's level 10. Amen. Let's get ready for our time and all this. Come on, y'all. Let's praise God this morning. Come on, y'all. Let's praise him. It's my time
Cash and offer, we live by faith. I see it now, we sit. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be born in his show. And his name is on account. I am God, heaven has to fall, prison is Amen.
communion, prayer, amen. For Christmas, lead up to Christmas, amen. Yeah. 
wonderful child. Yes. Jesus. Without him, we would be lost. But we thank you for giving us that gift. Lord Jesus. With our heart, right now. With our heart, we thank you. We thank you. And we thank you. And we thank you for being, Father. Because you've been so good to us. Father, you've been wonderful. When I look back and think about where we begin from at the beginning of the year, here we are almost at the end of the year. And you kept us all safe and sound, dear Father. You've been very wonderful. You've kept our family united. We thank you, Father. We thank you with all our heart. With all our heart, dear Father. We thank you. You are so loving and so wonderful. And the most we can do is give this same love back to one another that you've given to us. We want to share that love and treat each other the way you treat us and the way you would have us treat each other, dear Father. We thank you. We thank you for giving us the heart and the mind, for directing us. You send it to our thoughts and to our heart. You direct us. And we follow you and you follow your direction. Then Father, love thy neighbor as thyself. Love one another as I love you. So the word is out. Love one another as I love you. And Father, with all sincerity, with all our heart, we love one another the way you love us, dear Father. And give us the strength to continue. Strengthen our hearts and minds into the spirit of loving and giving, dear Father. Strengthen us. Guide us and mold us the way you would have us be, dear Father. In your name, dear Father. Amen.
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank y'all on Facebook, everybody. Get your Bibles out, tablets out, hard copy Bibles out. And turn with me to Isaiah 9, 6 and 7. The message over this Christmas series is part one. The king has and the king is coming. King. Come on, say it all with me. The king has come and he is coming. Amen. The king, the king. has and, and he is coming. And we talked about the baby in the manger this Christmas season. Yes. We talked about not just a baby. We talked about a king. Yes. Amen. 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 We talked about rulership yes. on the earth. The first Adam was made and created by God to rule on this earth. Mm -hmm. But to rule under God. Amen. 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 But it is time to be dependent on God. But the devil Lucifer, formerly Lucifer, who is Satan and the devil, he was under God in the heavenly ethereal age. But the devil tempted him to go above God. To be independent of God. Yeah. So when he comes into God in Genesis 3, the devil himself is allowed by God. He tempts Adam and Eve to not stay under God, but to go over God. Yeah. Not to be dependent on God, but to be independent yeah. of God. As yeah. long as you stay under God, yeah. Adam. The hell, the earth is gonna be like hell. Yeah. But if you get tempted yeah. and you want to go over God, then the earth is gonna be like hell. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So what the issue is in life yeah. is not how long you will outlive. Uh -huh. yeah. It's who's ruling yeah. in your heart. Yeah. Who's ruling in my heart? Yeah. It's about rulership. Yeah. This whole earth from beginning to the end is about. Who's going to rule this earth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If righteousness rules, it'll be peace and love. Yeah. If evil rules, it's going to be death and destruction. Yeah. But 3,200 years after Adam, uh -huh. 1,300 years after Abraham, uh -huh. Uh -huh. 700 years after Moses, uh -huh. God dropped the word in the prophet Isaiah's yeah. mind and heart. His name means the Lord is salvation. He dropped it in the midst of Israel falling into sin above all kind of sins. And just like our society is now. He put God drops a word in spite of what man does. God is still on his original plan. Is that man is going to rule this earth. Right now he you know Psalms 115, 16. He says, The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's code. But the earth he has given to the children of men. Psalms 115, 16. Listen to me closely. God said, The heaven, even the heavens, belong to the Lord. Yes, Lord. But the earth, he is giving to the children of men. Uh -huh. Your society is going to be like what you do. Amen. Amen. But God always drops a word. Amen. 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 Come on, read with me. Let's say Isaiah 9, verse 6 and 7. Watch this. Let's read together. For unto us a child is what? Born. Unto us. A son is given. The child is born is humanity. The son is given is deity. Amen. And watch this. That's a covenant. Every time you see a covenant in the Bible, that means stop the three, four steps and think about it. Yeah. For unto us, a child is born. Unto us, a son is given. Why is the child born God? Why is the son given? For what purpose? What reason? And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Huh? Colon, stop right there. That's significant. Why is the child born? Why is the son given? For the government, the rulership, shall be upon his shoulder. And his name. Shall we call what y'all? What? 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 
If Jesus is ruled in his peace, yeah. but if the devil is ruled in his chaos, yeah. the thief, John 10, 10, come and put the steel, kill, and destroy. Yeah. Right. Jesus said, I am come yeah. that they might have life yeah. and have a more abundant yeah. Amen. Yeah. Of the increase of his covenant and peace, there should be what? No. Oh, yeah. Upon the throne of David. Yeah. That's what we were reading about in Sunday school lesson. Ruth is the, is the great grandmother of King David. Uh -huh. The king is coming. Exactly. And upon the throne of David. And upon his kingdom. To order it. And to establish it with judgment. And, and with justice from his court, even forever. How is it going to happen? The is it gonna happen by man? The seed. No, no. The seal of the Lord's host, Jehovah yeah. Samuel, yeah. will perform this. Oh, yeah. God is gonna rule on this earth. One day it's gonna be peace all on this earth. Yeah. Evil is gonna be oh, kicked yeah. out. Weakness yeah. is gonna be kicked out. Yeah. Yeah. There is gonna be a king, a righteous king, oh, yeah. sitting on the throne of David. Amen. Come on, y'all. You may be seated. I'm going to listen to me in the King James in the Good News Bible. A child is born to us. A son is given to us. Yeah. And he will be our ruler. Uh -huh. He will be called, what is his ruler's name is going to be? He will be called Wonderful. Yes. Counselor. Mighty God. Eternal Father. Prince of Peace. Verse 7, his royal power will continue to grow. Yes. His kingdom will always be at peace. Yes. His rule as King David's successor, basing his power on right and justice from now on until the end of time. Yes. The Lord Almighty is determined to do all this. Yes. The king is coming, y'all. The king has. And the king is coming. When the king came into the world, the child was born, the son was given. The number one, the king was born. Yes. When you're looking at the manger in Bethlehem, it's a king being born. Amen. Yes. Number two, the king died. Can I get a witness this morning? Yes. We celebrate communion this morning because the king died. Yes. But thank God. Thank God. We celebrate the communion this morning because the king rose again. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Come on, y'all. Give God the praise. Yeah. Is this Bible in the Bible? Yeah. Read Matthew 16. The disciples asked Jesus, teach us to pray. Right. Like John the Baptist's disciples prayed. Yeah. He said, pray like this. Huh? Your kingdom come. What? Yeah. Your will be done. Well, in earth, as it is in hell. What is he really saying? What is this prayer about? Your kingdom come where? In earth. Where? Where? Yeah. I'm looking at you right now. Where is the kingdom supposed to come? Yeah. Sister Lacey got the job. Yeah. Sister Lacey said right here. Yeah. Yeah. He said, pray, Jesus said, pray that God's kingdom, kings don't the king dominates. Yeah. Sister Lacey said, we pray your kingdom come in my heart. Yeah. Your will be done through me yeah. on earth as it is being done in heaven. Yeah. Can I get that man on that? Yeah. Come on, get God to pray. Yeah. Say it, pray it all with me, y'all. Your kingdom come. Well, recite that to me. Your kingdom come. God. In my heart, in my heart. Your, will be done. your will be done in earth, in earth. through me, through me. as it is being done in heaven. All right, y'all, not convinced. Let's go to Luke 124. Gabriel shows up to Mary. He says, And behold, you shall do what? Man, y'all try this morning. Come on, come on, come on, y'all. Let's get some help. Come on, y'all. And behold, you shall what? Conceive in your womb and bring forth a what? And shall call his name what? 
Leave as the Jewish ruler from Abraham. Yeah. Let's go to chapter Peter 1 16. Peter says, after Jesus is resurrected, Peter said, For we did not follow cunningly devised faith when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we were witnesses, our witnesses of his majesty. Who has majesty other than King Jesus? Can I get amen on that? Who has, come on y'all, who has majesty other than King Jesus? See, while we looking at crime in Memphis, crime in Memphis is going on because it's a spiritual problem. Jesus is not ruling in the heart of most of the folk that's running around, of uh, none of these folk that's running around doing crazy stuff in Memphis. Because if Jesus is moving in the heart, we already pray, your kingdom come. Right in my heart, your will be done. It through me on earth as it is in heaven. Now the question we have to ask up myself, yourself this morning, is King Jesus ruling in your heart? Huh? Let me ask that question again. Consider this, how you act, how you talk, how you do people, how you Wait a minute. Huh? Wait a minute. Is King Jesus ruling in your heart right now? Who is he? Jesus. 
One more time. 
Come on, give God the praise this morning. Cause it reaches, it reaches to the high, high his mountain. Everybody sing along with me. Come on, y'all. You know what it does. And it flows to the Lord.
together with him of the Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, sir. We are not just who, but we have taken on his divine nature. And as we break this bread, the body of Christ, drink this wine, the blood of our Lord and Savior, we certify, proclaim, and acknowledge that we are one with him and with each other. Let us read together. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take me, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me, the body of Christ. In the same manner, he also took the cup out of the supper, saying, Jesus, This cup Jesus, is the new covenant in my blood. This do, like as often as you drink, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. The blood of Jesus.